without it. Casper, stop and send the dog! They can be giant in stature and strength. We train these dogs to find eight different types of cancer. And perceptive of even microscopic enemies. George saved my life. Come on. They come in small, medium, or large. Take your pick. <laughs> or take a hint from Eloise. These are very, very, very smart dogs. And discover the most befitting schnauzer. This is a schnauzer. No, wait a minute. This is a schnauzer. Hold on. This is a schnauzer. So which is the real schnauzer? All three. Giant, standard, and miniature. And all three represent their own separate breeds. But all three share an entangled past. The originator of this breed is the standard schnauzer. And the standard schnauzer they have tracked down as far as 500 years back. First born, but smack in the middle when it comes to size. The standard set the standard for all three. It's believed to be a mix of the poodle, the wolf spits, and some rough-coated terriers. The original schnauzer caught rats and other pests while also guarding farms and ranches in Germany. There came a time when the farmer grew a little bigger and wanted to go to the market, and he wanted not only his uh, produce to be protected, but he wanted somebody to pull it to the market. The farmer's solution was to double the weight of the standard. And so he would then uh, breed his standard schnauzer to the neighbor's boo-boo or poodle or Great Dane or whatever. So he'd get a bigger schnauzer. The result was a much larger dog. In fact, large enough to earn the title giant. Others thought this new giant too high and bred their dogs down by 10 centimeters. There was the other group of people who wanted the schnauzer, but they wanted a little one in the city on their lap to take with them. And they bred them down with a little laugh and pincher, and, and then they developed the miniature. Timmy! Sylvia Hammerstrom has bred one third of America's giant schnauzer population, but she knows a giant amount about all three. She and nine farmhands care for all of them, small, medium, and large. We have um, 1,200 pounds of beef, 700 pounds of chicken, wings and necks usually. Then we have a couple of hundred pounds of nothing but raw liver. Sylvia has a grocery list that's a mouthful. Well, I would say uh, 2,000 pounds a week. To provide a menu that the clientele can sink their teeth into. Forgot the milk? Dairy cows keep a supply flowing to supplement the nutrition. Uh, I consider that one of the most important points in raising a healthy animal. Just like yourself, you eat unhealthy, you're going to be unhealthy. Sylvia started the Schnauzer Kennel 36 years ago, but she bred her first champion a decade and a half earlier. Yes, we're very proud of you. And the champions keep coming. I have raised uh, over a thousand champions, and uh, I stopped counting two years ago because I reached a thousand, I couldn't believe the number myself, and now I leave it alone. Now I want to prove that I can make the healthiest champion. The healthier the dog, the better the chance of ridding the breed of genetic disorders. Sylvia's hearty brood includes 30 giants, almost all of the black variety, and a few of the less common salt and pepper color. She also has 10 standards, most of which are salt and pepper. Black is the rarer shade for the middle size. And she has 10 miniatures and at least 40 puppies at any given time. It's quite a unique assortment, perhaps best suited to those with matching personalities. For while the miniature may thrive with someone who's easygoing, the giant needs adrenaline. The people who thrive on these breeds are the leaders in the community. <laughs> Lawyers, doctors, people who own uh, bull parts with, with ass 
athletes, athletes themselves, um, competitive people, people who want to be number one. That's that's the people that love the giant schnauzer. Okay, let's know. And who could be more driven than a crime buster? Police need alert and focused partners. Giant schnauzers need active and diverse routines. There you go. And so we have the perfect match. Officers Michael Banaszynski and Luger. He's um, a dual purpose dog, one being apprehension and the other one being narcotics detection. In Walworth County, Wisconsin, you'd better not hide narcotics in your locker. You'd be advised not to run from the law. And you must be very careful from which water fountain you drink. This is Luger territory. We got a high one and a low one. And he drinks out of the high one, so I always drink out of the low one. So that's a good tip for you when you're at the sheriff's department. Mike's trousers make a great napkin. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? What are you wiping your face in my clothes for? Bad habits aside, Luger's conduct is most commendable. I think they um, train real easily. They're very intelligent. Oh. They pick up things real fast and, and they retain them. He rides with me during my entire shift. The uh, squad car is set up for him. The officer's partnership started three years ago. From the start, Luger was a natural. trying to think of a German name, and all I could think of was the German Luger pistol. The name fits. Shadow shot, shot. Luger knows when to be fast on the draw and when to hold fire. Oldsmobile, bravada, green color, one mirror drive. The police dog must remain alert, but never overzealous. Well, can I share a and see your driver's license, please? His job is to watch and wait for orders. Now, if you would, turn around and return back to your original spot. For optimum performance, Luger must encounter a variety of police confrontations. This simulated DUI arrest tests the Schnauzer's ability to focus and refrain until called. Okay, at this time, I'm going to place you under arrest for operating a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicants. Luger's attention skills are strong. Now to test his sensory faculties. <laughs> It's another ace performance, but the glove box didn't fare as well. A routine day can turn atypical at any time. Case in point, the day Luger became a hero. Number 10. It was October the 8th, 1998. 10, quick. 10, I'm 1076 Lake Geneva to assist. I'm looking for that Alzheimer's patient. 10, 10, quick. 74-year-old Alzheimer's patient was missing from a nursing home. I haven't found anybody here that anywhere since yesterday. Ruth Shesley had wandered along a nearby highway and disappeared. She'd already spent one night out in extremely cold conditions. It was uncertain if she could survive another. I, I felt we were running out of time on, on locating Ruth. I basically said we needed to start back over from point A, which was the nursing home. Police from several counties, the Civil Air Patrol, and more than a hundred volunteers participated in the search. Towards the end of the second day, Schnauzer and partner tried to retrace her steps from the home. Nice. Took. Started to check the area by coming down Highway 50 here from the uh, nursing home to the west. Good boy, what you got? We found a pair of soiled socks. Evidently, Ruth had taken off her socks during a confused moment, but the clothing served as a marker on her trail. It was leading Luger to a nearby farmhouse. When we got to the uh, residence or front yard here, at that point, I noticed that Luger had come into order and had put his nose in the ground, and we started our track. With less than two hours of daylight left. We started to work the airborne order, quartering back and forth, and could see that his head up high. And about uh, 15 feet into the high grass. What you got, Luger? Good boy, keep it up. There was Ruth. Uh, huddle up in a ball. Luger's olfactory senses were exact. 
but the search may have started too late. The other officer, Bob Meyer, offered to come over and check her to see whether or not she was alive. He indicated to me that she wasn't, she wasn't with us any longer. Until we started to carry on a conversation, and he mentioned her name, at which time she responded. Luger's heroic efforts hit the papers, and it's a moment never lost on the lives this schnauzer affected. I think that was more rewarding than any large drug discovery or any, any you know, felony arrest that we could have ever made. Luger became a hero just over overnight. <laughs>